In the past decade, microplastics have been found in several marine ecosystems around the world, including samples of microplastic composition and concentration from the Fram Strait to the central Canadian Arctic. Several studies have shown the ingestion of microplastics in fish and shellfish. These microplastics typically come from contamination from industrial production and plastic packaging. The microplastics are less than 130 micrometers in diameter can potentially enter human tissues, which could release toxic chemicals contained within the plastics into our bloodstream. To address this potential risk, HSR to Health has developed a Plastic Bioaccumulation Health Risk Index through the support of the Open Geospatial Consortium's 2023 Federated Marine Spatial Data Infrastructure Pilot with pilot sponsors NRCAN and NOAA. Leveraging Earth observation imagery, we quantified the presence of plastic and microplastics in the waterways of the Canadian Arctic, and we created the Bioaccumulation Health Risk Index to identify the risk of the local, native, and indigenous populations in the Arctic to adverse health outcomes. This is especially important for Arctic populations, as they often rely on local fishing as a primary food source. Shown here is a map of the Bioaccumulation Health Risk Index and plastic prevalence analysis results surrounding the Salt Fox Basin in the Canadian Arctic, which was the study area identified for this effort. Additionally, the underlying health and social data of the population is included, as shown in this pop-up. The Bioaccumulation Health Risk Index is calculated through a weighted combination of the health and social characteristics of the population. Sentinel-2 imagery of the Fox Basin was processed with a plastic detection algorithm available through Sentinel Hub to identify the presence of sea surface plastics. The data sources utilized for the risk index and Earth observation analysis included Sentinel-2, the Canadian Census Mapper API, Statistics Canada, the Canadian Chronic Disease Surveillance System, and the U.S. National Aeronautic and Space Administration. The populations that live in the Canadian Arctic are sparse. As such, the Bioaccumulation Health Risk Index was rasterized and combined with a two and a half minute gridded population of the world raster to identify the risk down to local communities. We utilized the NAPSIG symbology for the Bioaccumulation Health Risk Index, which was recommended for layers pertaining to disaster response based off of input from FEMA. The primary standards utilized for the Bioaccumulation Health Risk Index indicator include WMS, WFS, OGC Features API, Cloud Optimized GeoTIFF, GeoJSON, and ISO 3016-2. There is a lack of accepted standards for the tabular social and health data utilized for this risk index. Efforts toward achieving alignment and broad agreement on the formatting and standardization of social terms of health data, as well as public health data, would be of value to the industry. During the pilot, we began researching standards relevant to the data utilized, including ISO 3116-2, ISO TC215 Health Informatics, and HL7. Future pilot efforts should continue to explore standards relating to health and demographic data and data exchange. The Bioaccumulation Health Risk Index is published on HSR to Health's OpenGOMD platform, which is deployed in the AWS cloud through both an ESRI RGS Enterprise stack and a GeoNode GeoServer open source stack, as well as made available through other catalogs in the pilot. Each layer for the Bioaccumulation Health Risk Index is available in the OpenGOMD platform, and when viewing the layer, the users can import the layer into their own system using WMS GET via the link on the top right. Additionally, the data is made available through an OGC API instance, as shown here. The Bioaccumulation Health Risk Index will remain available on the OpenGOMD platform as a persistent demonstrator. Research on microplastics is relatively new, it has not been studied thoroughly enough to know the definitive health outcomes after exposure. While studies showing the harmful effects of plastic and component parts exist, there is a need for longitudinal studies to better understand the health impacts from microplastic toxicity. This effort to determine areas and populations at risk of bioaccumulation of microplastics is a key first step towards understanding the long-term health implications. Likewise, the utilization of remote sensing for the identification of microplastic prevalence is relatively new as well, so additional research utilizing high spatial resolution multispectral sensors or hyperspectral sensors for microplastic detection is needed. We identified how marine data within an Arctic FMSDI can be utilized to create public health indicators. This can be further explored in future OGC marine, climate change, and health related pilots. Thank you for watching this demo. For additional information, please visit our website or contact us at impact at hsr.health.